Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be setting up your iPad and we're going to do it in a way that's a little bit different because we're assuming in this video that you guys had an iPad from before or you guys had an iPhone or something, Apple product that we can transfer stuff really easily. So we're going to be doing that in this video. So let's just turn on your iPad. Now your iPad right here on the top is going to have a power button. Let's just hold on to that until you guys see an Apple logo or you guys will see a message popping up right away. So usually it's just the Apple logo. From here, we can just choose your language, whichever language you would like, and then your country. You guys can choose the US or wherever you're from, or even where you're not. It doesn't really matter. You guys can choose any country. Right now, it's gonna say quick start. This is the part where it gets interesting, because if you guys have an iPhone or iPad, then we can do a quick start, and that's what, exactly what we're gonna do in this video. Do have another video? We're gonna set up manually, which is starting from zero, zero. In this video, we have this, the quick start, okay? So I do have two videos in my channel. And like I mentioned, in this video, we're gonna transfer over everything from this iPhone to here. So it's gonna sync up pretty nicely. So we're just gonna turn on our iPhone. If we put it beside, we're gonna see this message right here on our iPhone. And that's to set up our iPad. So we're just gonna press continue. From here, all we have to do is scan this stuff that's happening. <laughs> it's pretty interesting, but that's how it works. You cannot take a picture of it. Well, it does it automatically. All you guys have to do is censor that with your iPhone. And right now it's gonna do the setup. So it's pretty much just transferring stuff from here, here in settings. At this point, we should see a message like this, touch ID. This is really up to you guys. If you guys want to choose touch ID, you would set up like so. It's gonna tell you to press your fingerprint right here on the home button a few times. Just uh, don't click on the home button, just press on it, lightly tap on it, I should say, not really press or click on it. If you guys don't want to, then just go set up Touch ID later, which we're gonna do in this case. So we're gonna put don't use, passcode, same deal. If you guys are not a fan of a passcode, you don't have to. So you guys can always go into passcode options and right here we can choose don't use. If you do put a fingerprint on your iPad, that means you will have to set up a passcode, by the way. Right now, we're just gonna put don't use passcode. However, for most of you, you will want to put in that passcode. But if it's just gonna be home, you're just gonna be managing it, then I wouldn't bother. At this point, it's gonna ask you for your Apple ID, so just put in your passcode. Once you put in your password, this is the next screen you're gonna see. And here we go. Restore your apps and data. So we're gonna click on continue. Then we're just gonna click on agree. I'm gonna do install updates manually. So let me just go back and show you that again. That's down here below because some updates you may not want, okay? I know that sounds weird, but some updates come with too many glitches. You may want to skip on it until actually Apple fixes those. So I always say install manually. This, I suggest just having it on. So go ahead. Hey Siri is really cool. However, you guys can also skip this by setup later in settings. Hey Siri, it's just gonna tell you to read a few things off the screen. So we're just gonna do that for now. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Who do you want to send it to? Hey Siri, how's the weather today? It's currently partly cloudy and 16 Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. And then we would be all done. If you guys heard Siri talking in the background, because I have a bunch of other iPads, iPhones that were picking up on my voice, they were answering while I am doing this setup. So that was kind of annoying. But uh, here we go, <laughs> just continue on. Again, you guys can choose to share your information or not. I'm just gonna put share. I'm gonna put share again. From there, it might ask you for a few passwords if you guys had a few iClouds in there, or it might just ask you for one password for your iCloud. So this is the point where we're gonna have to wait quite a long time. If you guys have a lot of stuff, you guys didn't have that much, then it should be kind of quick. From there, we should see the screen, Apple logo, loading bar. And finally, here we go. Let's just press the home button. Restore complete, continue on, continue, and touch ID. Again, this depends up to you guys. You could set it up, which is just a matter of you lightly tapping right here, or you guys can just set that up later or never use. So I'm gonna put don't use for now. Same deal, I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna set up, so don't use passcode. 
don't use passcode. And yes, it's kind of annoying that it asked us for that again. That's just the way it is. Finally, we are done. It's just going to give us a few things that's new to iPads, which is good to read about this. However, if you guys want to skip all that stuff, that's great because I have a whole separate tutorial giving you guys the basics of an iPad and showing you guys everything around it. So right now, you guys should know this right here. You guys should know this right here. You guys should know this. You guys should also know this or this. Now this will bring up apps that we have open and we can close them. That would be it for this setup video. If you guys have any comments, questions, don't forget to ask them down here below in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.